Hello and thank you for watching. I am the Silver Wheel Witch. Today we are doing a flip through book review of the Ancestral Tarot by Nancy Hendrickson. Uncover your past and chart your future. Y'all, this is a fantastic book. I absolutely love this book so much that I actually went and bought the audio version as well because um, I like to do that with books that I really like. I like to have multiple versions of them when possible. Um, this is a Wiser Books book and let me give you a close-up of the back. So she has some fantastic spreads in here and I believe I've flagged those for you um, to show you some of those and really goes very well into ancestral work in general. Um, I mean, I feel that even if you didn't read tarot and you wanted to know information on how to work with the ancestors, this book has so much information in it and it is just, um, it's concise, it's not too much, it's not too little, it's just, it's really a very well written, great book. I can't say enough good things about it. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look. Actually, I'll give you a quick flip through. I've been liking to do that to give you an idea of the aesthetic inside in case you don't want to stick through the whole diving into the pages. She's got a lot of charts and a lot of references and a lot of spreads in here um, to go along with her information. It's very practical. Um, you can really use it as a workbook and work through it or you can pull bits and pieces as you need from it as well. Um, it's really a very well-rounded book. Okay, now let's go ahead and flip through the pages here. We'll start in the front here. We have that it was published in 2021 by Wiser Books. So it's a newer book. And we have the table of contents, which I do believe goes in depth. It's just two pages, so I'll give you a close-up of that in case you want to freeze frame and see if there's anything of interest in it for you. Like I said, this book, you know, you can use it piecemeal, one piece at a time, what you want to use, or you can work through it like a workbook. It's really, really great like that. We have the forward. Okay, starting straight off with the spread. Um, this, I absolutely love this spread, um, and it is actually one that I will use now on a regular basis. So it is the journey spread, and I just love the questions. It's just seven questions, but let me go ahead and read them to you. Um, you've got card number one is you today, and then you have what the bridge is that you'll be crossing in order to meet your ancestors. And then card number three is what do the ancestors think of you? What do I think of the ancestors? So what do you think of them? What is the goal of your journey? What is the, um, what's unexpected that might come up for you that you're not expecting to come across in this journey? And how will the ancestral um, tarot affect your life? So it really was a fantastic spread. So. I do recommend trying that if you get the book or if you just want to try that spread out. Um, so just to flip through some of the key things that you'll see through the book, I mean obviously we're not going to flip through every single page, but um, she does a very fantastic job of explaining different types of ancestors. So depending on who you talk to, there are different schools of thought, you're going to hear different you know, perspectives on this, how many different types of ancestors they are. And I really like the way that she's broken it down. She has ancestors of blood, ancestors of those who were adopted, ancestors of place, and ancestors of time. Um, and then she will go throughout the book how to work with those different types of ancestors ancestors. Um, so then we have another spread in here 
that is which ancestor do I want to work with? So this is a great way to dive in a little bit deeper and figure out who exactly you want to work with. Um, you've got card number one is the ancestors of blood. Card number two is ancestors of place and card number three is ancestors of time. So the ancestors of those who have been adopted is wrapped up in the ancestors of blood. So the information in the front um, that I was showing you goes into her um, view on that. And so it's usually these three categories that she's working with throughout the book. So you can do a reading and she goes into explaining um, and gives you some journal prompts as well <clears throat> to then basically look at your reading and decide, you know, what kind of ancestor do I want to work with? And, you know, really, um, when I was working through this, this book, when I did it, it was really quite surprising. You know, I didn't end up at the time when I was looking for doing some more ancestral work. Um, I didn't end up working with the type of ancestor that I thought I was going to, and it was really a highly beneficial spread. So there's that. Um, and then here we have another spread. Um, what is that called? Spirit guide spread. So um, this one is to help you with your spirit guides. Okay. And then we go into um, some more meat and bones of it here. We have meet the family, who are they really? And it really goes into um, reading a family chart and gives you a lot of broken down information. And she gives you some um, card symbolism and associations here as well. Okay, some correspondences for them in those situations. So there's a lot of information there. Um, then here is a section about receiving um, an ancestral message. And we have some more card pulls here, another big spread. And again, she's got these nice journal prompts if that's what you're into um, to help you really dissect the information. Um, and then she goes into Ancestors of Blood. Um, and really goes into some history and some, she's got a healing spread in here. Uh, ancient ones, a lot of spreads as you can see. But along with these spreads, she's got a ton of information and it's just, um, I found her spreads to be very very helpful, very practical application to the work that is being done. Um, ancestors of Time, right? She talks about the astrological houses, um, sacred tools, petition, pairing things up. She's got some more correspondences in here. Um, some places you can find birth dates, which is helpful. Um, and then she goes into some ancestral rituals here. She talks about sacred space, finding your own space, what do you need in that space. She really goes into depth about that. And then she talks also about creating an ancestral altar. Um, and she talks about the elements and the differences of having um, altars outside. And she even goes into a little bit about crystal grids and the type of crystals that she has associated with the um, tarot cards. Um, and then we have her appendix. So she goes into the structure, the suits, the minors, reading with the minors, the courts, um, gives you some keywords in astrological, the majors, um, 
and then she gives you some more tarot practice resources so more books it's always good to have more than one resource um, when you are learning something for sure and so she gives a nice list of books there and she also lists out some apps which i thought is nice you don't always see that in books and also some genealogy resources as well which is just fantastic um, you know, just you want to look up and learn more about your ancestors. Uh, so some more information, lots of websites that you can look up. Um, and then some steps for you if you're just getting started looking into family tree stuff. So some genealogy. And then we have the about the author. I do like to give a close up of that. And there you have it. That is the um, Ancestral Tarot by Nancy Hendrickson. I love, love, love this book um, for ancestral work. So it not only gives you the information you need to work with them, but then also gives you the tools through the tarot cards um, as a practical way to communicate and work with them. So there you have it. Please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Have you read the book? What do you think? Um, and thank you as always for watching. Be blessed and have a great day.